Hi, Shira7. So I wanted to make a video on a topic that I saw on Facebook today. I thought it was pretty funny, so I thought it would make a really good video. Okay, so this video is going to be about work husbands. <laughs> I saw this meme this morning on Facebook about work husbands. And um, it's like when a woman has a job and she goes to her job, there's always this guy there that likes her, has a crush on her. She kind of likes him. So it's sort of like a work marriage. Like they, they hang out, they go to lunch together, they talk about all their problems with this guy. Um, you know, stuff like that. All right, so yeah. And you know, they kind of start crushing on each other. And this is the, this is the guy, the woman, uh, dresses up for and looks good for at work every day. And this is the girl that motivates the guy to get up and dress and look nice to go to his job. Um, they might not ever have a sexual relationship, but they might. Um, and you know, they just like, like each other, you know? Um, and a lot of men don't realize this, that when their, their woman goes to work or has a career or something like that, there is some guy there that likes her. Um, most of the time, <laughs> every job that I've had, I've had like a guy that worked there with me who was cool, who probably had a crush on me. Uh, I might not have had a crush on them. And at other times there was, uh, jobs that I used to go to that I might've had a crush on the guy and you know we became friends and stuff like that so there's always that person there that's at someone's job that could easily slip into you know an affair a relationship like if they're not married or something like that so a lot of a lot of guys will you know say well you know if I'm with a woman, they're going to have to work. They're going to have to get out and go and get a job and work and work and work and work. Well, if you're spending more time at a job with someone eight to 12 hours a day with another man, you're going to probably feel closer to that person than your own spouse, you know, because y'all spend so much time together. And, you know, women and men who work in close vicinity together feel close automatically so it's not like they're strangers so when i say like a lot of men um are okay if their wife stays home and doesn't work a lot of the time it's because of that reason <laughs> they know that if they are in the in a work environment and they're spending more time with other men who are probably getting paid more or um some kind of superior over them that they're going to be getting different you know treatment more recognition um, compared to this man and all this kind of stuff you know so a lot of men don't want their woman to go out and work because of this a lot of men forget this and say well you need to go get a job you need to help pay half these bills while the woman is at work you know her, her boss is flirting with her her um, co-workers are flirting with her taking her out to eat doing all the stuff you not doing and then you wonder why the woman comes home and upset and mad, have to come home to you. And she's just left the corporate office where men are well-dressed, are paid, drive nice cars. And now she has got to come home to you and your hands out for half the rent, guys. So y'all have to realize when y'all are with a woman, a career woman or a woman that you asked to go out and work, she might be disgusted in you because she's constantly comparing you to other men who she wish, wishes you were like. And the same thing goes for women, like women. Sometimes men go to work and they have work wives, you know. Um, they might see this lady, she's got it all pulled together. She's got her stuff in order. She's paying her bills. She's independent or she's married and paying her bills. And it seems like she has the perfect life, blah, 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 blah. But <clears throat> and she's probably going home looking at her husband like, you know, um, she he doesn't listen to her or she's over him because she has a good job and she looks down on him and she looks up at the other guy because he's in the same field as her and understands her and can talk to her about work and blah 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 it just it's back and forth so there are such things as work husbands and work wives so y'all remember that and I don't like I know like a lot of the women in the field that my husband works in <laughs> They don't look like much, so I'm not even worried about that. Um, 
But uh, in certain fields, you know, you have to understand that there are going to be some attractive men and some attractive women. Um, and even before I got married, I had work husbands. Um, like when I worked in the uh, funeral industry. Uh, and they weren't like romantic or work husbands. They were like friends, you know. They were just cool. And because a lot of times they will partner you up with a person at work, you know. It will be your uh, a partner or your co-worker that you have to work with. So you can't really help but to not feel close to someone. Uh, a lot of times people work by themselves because they're like the boss or the manager. And they have all these little uh, people beneath them that have crushes on them because they're in a higher position and they like them. So then you have to deal with that. Especially if your man is a boss or a manager or if your woman's a boss or a manager. You can have like, you know stuff like that happening so you have to think about those kind of things and either deal with them know that they exist a lot of men are like blind to this and they can never fathom their woman you know being in a work marriage <laughs> but it's true <laughs> and uh like i've had people comment on the meme especially guys and they're like what what the f like like y'all didn't know that women have work husbands <laughs> breaking news and this one guy even commented that um, he lost his fiance to her work husband and they actually uh, ended up getting married, but he divorced her later on. But yeah, he lost his fiance to her work husband. <laughs> anyway, if y'all have a work husband, uh, put it in the comments. If y'all have a work wife, put it in the comments. Tell me if the present if the chance presented itself for you to you know be involved with your work husband would you uh do you have a crush on your boss do you see someone in your office building that you want to get with uh even though if you're attached to somebody already do you get dressed and go to work and look good for that special cute guy or cute guy at the office or cute girl at the office do y'all have that type of motivation to go to work I know I used to. I could not, I, like, unless there was a cute guy there to look cute for, to exchange, you know, back and forth with, I didn't want to go to work. And that's just the truth. Um, I mean, of course, the money, yes, you need the money, but this just makes you want to get, get up early, look extra good, be on time. <laughs> it's true. I mean, I think it's true. So, um, it's funny because I was trying to, um, work actually I said I'll, I'll go get a job oh yes I'll go get a job and at such and such funeral home and my husband already knows how a lot of those guys are at the funeral home and he was like well uh, you don't have to work why don't you just stay home and blah 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 and I was like no I could work evenings at you know and, and he was like uh, he wasn't having it because he already knows how men are he already knows that if, if I were to go and work at some funeral home, one of the owners, one of the managers, one of the funeral directors would try to, like, uh, try to date me. And I'm not trying to be conceited, but that's just what, how guys are, you know. It's just true. Um, so you never know. Uh, I, st <laughs> I still have, like, uh, you know, s some good looks left after all those years. You know, I still got something. Uh <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so I'm just trying to tell y'all a lot of guys don't realize that this is one of the things that happens when you send your woman out to work and you know she sees men who are in better positions than you are she starts comparing you but you know sometimes it's not all bad you know sometimes the benefits are better than the risks like the woman might be loyal to her husband and she might just be nice to her work husband and keep the peace you know and things like that you never know um but yeah like don't send me to somebody's job please don't and i'm not saying i'm not a good woman or a good wife or anything but don't send me to someone's job <laughs> Um, because I will try to, um, like, I will try to be nice to everyone. I will do this. I will do that. If, um, if I'm presented with a work marriage proposal, I might just accept it and go to lunch with some guy and let him pay. 
blah, 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 because then I'll start to rationalize in my mind. Well, if my husband is sending me out to work and he wants me to work and earn money and stuff like this, you know, uh, I think I deserve lunch. You know, I'll start to rationalize why I should do this because I don't want to be at work in the first place, you know. So be careful the kind of women you marry because sometimes if they're not the kind that wants to work and you tell them to go out and get a job, they might just resent you for it and, you know, look for work husbands on purpose, okay? Anyway, <laughs> I have drank like two glasses of, I mean two glasses, two cups of coffee and... Oh, okay. I got an email from somebody that just got a Christmas card from me. Oh, that's so nice. Anyway, so yeah, y'all have to y'all have to realize before you get married to someone and before you start any type of relationship with someone, know who you're marrying. Know the type of woman that you're marrying. Know the type of man you're marrying. Know that and discuss it before you get married. Like, say to your fiance, "Look, I don't want to work. I want to be a, a housewife. Do you have a problem with this?" If they say no, if they say yes, then you know where you stand, you know, because and if they ever ask you to go get a job, then they already know, you know, you don't want to be there and things might not go as planned. And men, if you're getting ready to ask a woman to marry you, make sure you know where she stands about work. Say, are you going to are you going to work? Are you going to go back to work after you have kids? How do you want to do this? What's your plans? How do you see this going? If they say, I don't want to work. I don't want to go back to work after I have kids. I'll work up until I have kids and we can save and stuff. But after I have kids, I'm not going back to work. If you don't agree with that, then do not marry that woman. Because if you send her back to work and she resents you for it, she will take it out on you in some type of way. Okay? You might not know about it. You might be clueless to it. You might not even suspect it. And you might not even remember that she didn't want to work after she had kids. But she does. And she, she'll try to tell you. And she'll be like, you know, I'd rather stay home. Well, baby, we need we need your income because I can't handle it by myself, you know. Uh, if if you say that to her and she has to leave her child, let other people raise her child while she goes to work, pays daycare, comes home, she is going to take it out on you, and you're not even going to realize it, okay? So I'm just saying now, if you have a career woman and she's just all about work and she puts you to the side for work and she says, you know what, I got to get this work done, work, 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 work and she's all about her career, then that's fine. She's going to give, you know, 100% on her job. She's not, you know, she's not going to jeopardize anything but her job. You know, she's not going to jeopardize anything for her job because that is her main focus. It's not you. It's not the man. It is her job. Her main focus is, you know, getting up higher, getting pays, getting raises, getting bonuses, getting this, getting that. It's not you, okay? You're just there to fill the void uh, in her life where she thinks she's supposed to have a man, husband, and kids. Okay, but really she just wants the career. And a lot of people say, I can balance it and have it all, but somewhere somebody's suffering, okay? And that's just the truth. Somewhere a kid is suffering, not getting enough attention. Somewhere a husband is suffering, not getting enough attention. Somewhere a wife is suffering, because men do this to women all the time. They just focus on their career. Somewhere a wife or a child is suffering from not getting enough time for their father. I mean, it's true. Um, there are lots of women out there who have workaholic husbands and they don't even know their kids' favorite color. They don't even know what toys they play with, their favorite cartoon. They don't know none of that because they don't have time to sit and talk to them enough to ask those type of questions. So you have to understand the type of relationship you're getting into and these work relationships as far as, you know, work husbands and work wives because this is the real world and we have to be honest with each other. And we all know that there are those people that at work that will say, hey, let's go get a motel at, at lunch. Hey, let's do that. And, and it becomes an affair at work. And the wife and the husband will never find out because they're at work. You know, they're not staying out late. You know, they're not um, going on. Well, they could be going on work trips, you know, business trips. And you'll never know, you know. It's the easiest place to have an affair. So... That will make y'all think twice about, you know, marriage before you get married, asking the right questions. You know, where do you, where do you, where does your career uh, lie? Are you a family man? Or are you a career man? Are you going to sacrifice your family's time for your career? 
And you have to be a woman that will understand that. You, like women who are married to doctors, they don't get to see their husbands a lot. Their husband has to leave in the middle of dinner, movies, when they have a page, on call, whatever. So you have to be able to be comfortable with the type of situation before you get married. Don't say, well, you didn't tell me. Be honest up front and, and know these things, okay? And know that if you marry a woman who does not want to work, she will acquire a work husband, okay? And I'll see y'all later. Bye.